On this video, we're going to be discussing how to handle a item that is going to be on back order, and the item physically arrived at our store, but the accounting department did not enter it into the inventory as a receiver yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, sell an item. I'm going to go to my customer and I'm going to use the B spot and I'm going to select uh, this is a location for my sales tax my individual salespeople are here we're going to say it's Dan Spikowski as the salesman we're going to take and look at this item here traditional slant block and we're going to go ahead and we're going to select that now right here we're going to say we have two options if I say it's here it's going to allow me to pre-sell it if I say back order it won't sell it it'll allow me to invoice it but it's going to say it's on back order, and once the back order is received, um, it won't be on back order anymore once the purchase order receiver is done. But I'm going to say it's here. And so I tender, go to my purchase orders, if the customer wants to give me a PO number. And they're going to pay cash for it and we'll say OK. And this would go then to my my print jobs. Do I want a packing slip? No. Uh, we can preview and it will show me my invoice for this item. So if I go to my inventory now under the transactions tab and select inventory and I look at this first item here it says available negative one pre-sold one that's because I sold an item that the customer was holding in their hand but my accounting department still didn't do the PO receiver. So let's go ahead and close this. And let's, uh, well, let's open that up again. I wanted to just verify who the vendor was for this thing. Because we're going to create a purchase order now. And my vendor is Dexter Russell. Okay, so let's go into our purchasing system under Create Receive PO. And we're going to create a brand new PO. And our vendor is Dexter Russell. Now when we do this, we're only going to see Dexter Russell items. Nobody else's. And here's that first item that we pre-sold. So we'll just check that and say select. It'll say, how many of these do you want? And we're going to get five of these in and here's my cost that I can change if I wish totals and now I say okay so I'm gonna save and process this I can create a PO email a PO I'll just continue well let's just print the PO just to see what it looks like and here's my purchase order for five of these items Okay, I'm going to go under the Receive PO now and receive it in because it's been a day. And I'll say uh, we're going to receive. I need to put a packing slip or an invoice number in. And I click Receive All to receive what I ordered. If I only receive four, I can just double click this. Excuse me, I can click Edit and say I only received four 
and then if I'm not going to order any more, instead of being one left to be received, I can change quantity to order to be four also, and then my PO will close. Okay, so I've done that, and now I'm going to receive it. And it just says, uh, if I want to change any of my pricing matrix, I can. And it says five to, was received to stock. One of those filled a pre-sold on this invoice. Okay, so let's go back into our inventory again. And we'll see this first item here. I have now four available, four in stock. Nothing is pre-sold any longer because I satisfied that pre-sold with that last purchase order. Okay, so if I look at my stock manager, it says I have four in stock. And if I look at my transaction log, it'll show you here where we imported the item originally, we sold one of them, one was pre-sold, we placed a purchase order for it for five, we received the purchase order, and we removed from stock for pre-sold one. That's how we ended up with the four on hand. So you have a full audit trail of everything that happened with that item. And that concludes how you can sell an item that you don't have in stock, it will make it a pre-sold and wait for you to receive it into your inventory. Also, because we did receive it in, if I go to my accounting and I go to accounts payable, you'll see that invoice for Dexter Russell for the five items that we purchased. You see all this, all that information is in our accounts payable system now and we're ready if we wish to post it and then cut checks for it. So everything is pretty much automatic. You don't have to do much manual entry. Um, everything you see, saw me do, I just clicked next, 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 and it did everything for me. So uh, it's a very, very easy way to uh, handle a back order situation. Thank you.